Hello and welcome to some physics revision with me, Will Carr. And of course me, Conor Durkin. Today we'll be going through everything you need to know for an A star on the A level, focusing on the AQA course, but some fields overlap so you may be able to apply it in other, other courses. So bully to you and hello to you, more to the point. If you have any questions or comments, you're very welcome to ask down there in the comments or you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Wahey Productions. I'm not giving you my Twitter, that's just Twitter at, at Wahey Tweets. Is it actually we've got there a is. Twitter account? I did not know we that. We never ever use it, but we should we, start we, using it. We should. There we are, tweet us. Magnetic flux density, which sounds so much fancier than it really is. It, yeah. A magnetic it does. field is a region in which a force acts, as are all fields. It can be represented by field lines. The closer together they are, the stronger the field is. When a current flows around a wire, the magnetic field is induced induced, sorry, around the wire. The field lines are concentric, circles centred on the wire. The direction of the field around the wire can be worked out with the left right hand rule, or not left hand rule. If you don't have a right hand oh that to hand that is. Ooh. And it is socially unacceptable in the exam to use the person next to use. Or you could just, you know, bring in your little prosthetic. I assume you have a prosthetic, you don't need one, you know, you'll if you loop a current carrying wire into a coil, then the field is donut shaped. Mm. Many coils called solenoid. Solenoid. From a field like. Form a field like a bar magnet. I'm right Putting in. a current carrying wire into an external magnetic field will cause the field to interact. If the current is parallel to the field lines, then no force will act as. It's all down to components. Yes. The force is always perpendicular to the current and the magnetic field, as shown using Fleming's left hand rule. Oh, left hand and right hand. Excellent. Now, I hate to state the obvious, but if you use your right hand, it won't work. Unless you can bend your thumb backwards. Your thumb is the force, and the finger. your index finger is the magnetic field, and your middle finger is the current. Middle finger. If you use AC, then the wire will vibrate due to the reversing current. The force on a current carrying wire at right angles to a magnetic field is proportional to the strength of the magnetic field. The magnetic field strength or magnetic flux density B is defined as the force on one metre of wire carrying a current of one amp perpendicular to the magnetic field. The force comes about because, as shown here, the two magnetic fields will cancel above and reinforce below, leading to a force The magnetic overall. flux density B is measured in Tesla's T, where one Tesla is equal to one Weber per metre squared. It's a lovely unit. The size of the force on a wire length in the field L sorry the size of the force on the wire in the field L so the length the length the in the field is all what you is care L. about so yes. length of the field is the L the little with the magnetic field strength B is given by F equals B I L where I is the current bill. and L is the length F bill F bill and then F bev later but we'll go back to that we'll if they are not at right angles then a component of the force will still act but when perpendicular the maximum occurs forces on charged particles Using Q equals IT and the fact that a charged particle moves a distance L in time T, you can get F equals B times Q times V. Book of her. Not quite as useful. A positive charge in the magnetic field will move in a circular path. So A equals V squared over R. F and F equals MA. As you know. So therefore, F equals M V squared all over R. Therefore, uh, equals BQV. So therefore, if you rearrange all of that, you get R equals MV over BQ. Therefore, if the mass or velocity increases, then the radius of the curvature will increase. The frequency of rotation for an object can be found with F equals V over 2 pi R, which equals BQ over 2 pi M. Therefore, the frequency is independent of its velocity. Really? Mm. Good. This effect is used in particle accelerators like cyclotrons and synchrotrons. Synchrotrons, sorry. Cyclotrons have many uses, as radioactive traces or high-energy beams in radiotherapy. A cyclotron is made up of two hollow semicircular electrodes with a uniform magnetic field applied perpendicular to the plane of the electrode. Alternating potential difference is applied between the electrodes and then the particle exits the cyclotron at high speed. Because the particle's speed is increasing, the radius of the particle is increasing, as you can see with our lovely diagram. Isn't lovely. that actually good? It's actually, we've stepped up the diagram department. We have. We have. We're they now should get a pay rise. In, we're paying them in beans. We are. Yeah. Everyone likes beans. Electromagnetic induction. If a conducting rod moves through a magnetic field, its electrons will experience a force, meaning that they will accumulate at one end. Is... Can, we, can we take a moment to look at the magnetic field? <sighs> Carry on. It's actually a magnetic pitch, Will. Carry it's on. a football pitch. Carry the on. field is like much. It's like a Carry on. of pitches. This <laughs> induces an EMF across the ends of the rods. If this rod is part of a complete circuit, then an induced current will flow through it. This is called electromagnetic induction. Moving a conductor through a magnetic field is called flux cutting. Flux linking is when the uh, an EMF is induced by changing the magnet uh, the magnitude, sorry, or the direction of the magnetic flux using AC. The charge of flux or the change of flux, sorry, of one Weber per second will induce an electromotive force of one volt in a loop of wire. Oh, that's just EMF. 
Yeah, electromotive yeah. force. Yeah. Magnetic flux density B is a measure of the strength of the magnetic field per unit area. The total magnetic flux phi 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 p h i psi. No, it's pi. Phi. 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 phi, but it's pH. Oh my god. How has like it got to the fourth video and we still haven't looked up the pi Greek is, alphabet? Pi is the thing <laughs> I with the I said psi. Well, that's just the PSI. Korean that's the Korean dude who does the Gangnam style and us. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Passing through area A perpendicular to magnetic field B is given by phi equals B times A, where phi is measured in Weber's and B is measured in Tesla. Right. The flux linkage is the product of the number of terms on the coil cutting the flux, where the magnetic flux given by N phi equals B A N, so no equals ban. It or, is phi. It is phi. Yeah. Yes, got it right. Not yeah. psi. It was epsilon before. Ah, uh, it was epsilon. So we got it right. That's... And I can't find What's... the other one. Oh, it is omega. Yes, it's lowercase omega. We've got all our Greek letters right. Sorry. I got all the Greek letters right. Shut you up. said, you said it was face. a Korean singer. Show your face. South Korea, North Koreans <laughs> don't sing. They don't have fun. They just die. <laughs> just please move on. When the wire coil is not normal to the direction of B, then you can use the amended equations phi equals BA times cos theta or N phi equals BAN cos theta. Where theta is the angle between the normal, the plane, or the coil, and the magnetic field in degrees. Da, 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 da. Faraday's law and Lenz's law. Lenz with a Z because he's a German dude. Faraday's law states that induced EMF is directly proportional to the rate of change of flux linkage. It also, it also gives the magnitude of the induced EMF as the rate of change of flux linkage. So N times the change in phi. Phi. Oh. phi not phi. Chunky thighs. <laughs> over delta T. Therefore, the magnitude of the EMF is shown by the gradient of a flux linkage by time graph. The area underneath will be the flux change. Lenz's law states that the induced EMF is always in such a direction as to oppose the change that caused it. When a if coil it, rotates, yeah. If you're a chemist, it's kind of like um, Le Chatelier's principle, where it tries to counter the change if you know reactions in equilibrium. But that's chemistry. We'll not talk about that. When a coil rotates uniformly <laughs> in a magnetic field, the coil cuts the flux and an alternating EMF is induced. As the coil rotates, the... The uh, degree from B B A N cos theta varies sino oh, sino suicidally sinusoidally sinus sinus between suicidally. positive and negative B A N. How fast theta changes depends on the angular speed uh, omega of the coil. Yeah. So theta equals omega t. So you can write n phi equals B A N times cos omega t. Yes. Oh, so you right. just swapped omega t for theta. The really. induced EMF. Epsilon depends on the rate of change of n phi, so it varies sinusoidally given by <laughs> epsilon equals b a n omega sine omega t. <laughs> omega t is like a really good brand of tea. Omega t. Yeah. Omega. Uh, <sighs> not better than technically. Increasing the speed of rotation will increase the frequency and increase the maximum EMF, but will have no effect on the frequency? Increasing B will... What? Incre what? You've just written, increasing the speed of rotation will increase the frequency and increase the maximum EMF, but will have no effect on the frequency. That doesn't mean the frequency. It had no effect on something. You carry on and the I'll look it up. The script is badly written. Increasing B will increase the maximum EMF, but will have no effect on frequency. The generators convert kinetic energy into electrical energy, inducing a current by rotating a coil in a magnetic field. It's Keep kind going. of GCSE stuff. <laughs> now, you will probably have been taught a lot about generators, but I would say, we would say, that if you understand all of the content we mentioned so far, you could probably deduce just from logic how generators work. I could be a generator. Copyright. Transformers. Transformers are not robots in disguise. They are devices that make use of electromagnetic induction to change the size of a voltage for an alternating current. An AC flowing in the primary coil causes the core to magnetise D and Re continuously in op opposite directions. This produces a rapidly changing magnetic flux across the core. And I think we have a correction yes. from the... Okay. It's increasing the magnetic flux density B will increase the maximum EMF, but will not have any effect on the frequency. That's a correction for the earlier complete muck up. I'm going to say carry correctly. on with transformers. <laughs> because of this, in a soft iron core or other magnetically soft material is needed. This rapidly, the rapidly change of magnetic flux in the iron core passes through the second coil, inducing an alternating voltage of the same frequency and voltage difference depending on the number of coils difference. And I'm going to pass out now. From Faraday's law, you can deduce that VP equals NP uh, multiplied by uh, the change in phi over the change in time. And VS, obviously, it's just the same, but with S, uh, where P is for primary and S is for secondary. 
where V is a voltage and N is the number of turns. And therefore, if you combine them, then you get NS, so the number of turns in the secondary coil over the number of turns in the primary coil. Equals the voltage in the secondary coil over the voltage in the primary coil. So it's Potential all to do with ratio. Yeah. Yes, yeah. ratios. So step up transformers increase the voltage by having more turns on the secondary coil. Step down transformers do the opposite. Vice versa, some Latin in there. Get that thrown in there. If a transformer were 100% efficient, then the power in would equal the power out. However, there will always be power loss through things like heat. Heat is usually as a result of eddy currents that occur in continuous cores due to the continuously changing flux and the induced EMF. One way to reduce the effect is through lamination, so the current can f can't flow. Yes. Eddy currents, yeah. So heat is also generated by resistance, so using low resistance wires like thick copper will give a smaller resistance. Energy is also needed to magnetise and de uh, demagnetise the cores, which is wasted through heating. Using a soft material that magnetises and demagnetises very easily will reduce this effect. Yes, not actually soft as squidgy, but like soft iron. If only. Also, magnetic flux cutting completely isn't isn't ideal, so to get closer to that, move them closer together. Yeah. Move them closer together. Right, yeah. Blah. To calculate the efficiency, uh, P equals IV, uh, yeah. And you end up with the formula IP times VP equals IS times VS. So again, you can then rearrange it to get sort of ratios VP over VS equals IS over IP. Current. Uh, so as an ideal, the efficiency is given by the current in the secondary coil multiplied by the current uh, by the voltage in the primary coil divided by the current in the primary coil multiplied by the voltage in the secondary coil. Dear Lord, transformers are used in a national grid to transport electricity at minimum currents to reduce energy loss and therefore at very high voltages due to peak because either you can't get rid of energy. Therefore, step up and step down transformers are used to transport efficiently and then make it safer for the it home. It would be quite dodgy if you had 40,000 volts coursing through your toaster. be quite cool though. It'd be very cool, but... You know, quite bad. Yes. If you touched it, That's you'd, it, you'd get toasted. That's it. Oh. <laughs> right. Thank you for listening to Physics Revision. One thing I want to say is just, uh, I don't, I've completely forgotten what I was going to say. That's okay. If you've got any comments, then put them in the comments or put them on Facebook, as we said it. Facebook.com forward slash Way Reductions. Why are we speaking sort of seductively into the microphone? Because they can also tweet us at uh, Way Tweets. I don't know if that's actually our Twitter address. We probably have about four. We'll put it in the description below. We also have Wahey UK. I Do think. we? Yeah. Is there a Wahey US? Do we have a branch somewhere? No. Well, <laughs> we do in Colorado. Excellent. Hello, Colorad Coloradians. They're all high, aren't they? Right. Okay. Are they Brilliant. They're, they're just all right. high all the time now. Even Thank the police. You. Just... It's a good time to to say our new uh, our new what's our new slogan thing? Jingle. A new little slinger. A slinger. Oh, just slinger. go. Okay. <laughs> just leave us be. <laughs> Goodbye. It's been lovely. Uh, thank you for watching. Genuinely. He's been Will Khan. I've, I've been Connor Durkin. Yes, you have. I have. Oh, been. bye. Bye. <laughs>